hey, I'm whipping, whipping. Man, you know I got the trap back, 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 flipping, tripping, sipping on some real different, piffing. How I making really bad decisions, tipping, leaning, feeling like water. And I finna put another order, make it come across the border. And I save all my money, shit piling up, bank calling me a hoarder. I buy a hole, then I chop it down to quarters. If you want less than that, you gotta talk to my workers. Uh, I'm from the law, no rules, frat house like old school. Blacked out, nigga, no hue. I'm eating rappers like they so food. I'm Shang Tsung swimming in my soul pool. Damn it, I'm so cool. Shout out, shout out, shout out to everyone that is watching. Uh, What's up, what's up, everyone? It's your boy, Jeff, the Master Barber. Uh, right now, we're just going to do a fade on this particular client. Uh, he comes weekly, uh, but today he just wants just the, fi the fade on the side, uh, clean shave, and, and the, the goatee. Well, not a really goatee, just the mustache separate from the, from the, you know what I mean? Not just a goatee, closed goatee, but, you know, fix his diamond goatee. And the, and the mustache, the eyebrow, and a little line on the side. Right now, we're using the magic clip. But, uh, like I always, uh, if you're new, uh, the only thing is that um, on this particular clip clipper, I switched the blade on it. What it has is a, ball, a balding blade. Jeffrey, what is a balding blade? Well, a balding blade... It's basically it's a machine it's a machine that it, it, it comes they use it basically to clean it's like a tr like the GTX or like the uh, detailer so basically it, it gets really close uh, you cannot you know it has even though it has this one it has a lever uh, you can't use the lever but you see the difference the magic clip has the big teeth which i'm using right now and i'm i'm using it with the le level semi open but not completely but going back to the bolding um uh the bolding clipper so the blade basically gets really close really 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 tight and uh but what is is good is there is double the size uh wide the blade so when you're about to clean like the size it, it just uh, it clean a lot faster than a GTX and a TL liner. Not only that, the engine, uh, the the clipper has is bigger machine, so it's bigger engine, so which is more powerful. So when you pass a blade like that with a power like that and a blade, uh, a big blade, you would definitely while it would take you with a GTX maybe like you know two three minutes five minutes with uh, bolding, uh, definitely you would do it like in one minute uh so yeah that's 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 right now uh let me just get back in track um now that i just finished breaking down the what is the bolding now we're using the magic clip we're using that clip that we're using is the one and one eighth uh and notice how right away i'm tackling the, the shadow notice how it's already in the period of time that i was talking explaining the bolding i notice how quick the fade is developing um I'm not explaining the other side or in the back when I uh, with the other levels when I do it again, we're gonna we're gonna get back exactly uh, how I did it or, or why. Uh, but until then, right now we're using now no clip and we're going we're working our way down now. Uh, when you go lower, little by little you lower. See, I just I, I lower a little bit the level and then go tighter and then if I go high or higher, then I open the lever just to be safe and then now i'm gonna go lower to tackle that line i had to definitely completely close it mind you um i did the bolding in the bottom and then that uh, that line the other starting the other level is basically with that 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 blade the magic clip the stock one that comes from factory so <coughs> you gotta go right in between now i noticed that there's a shadow there and there in order for me to take that shadow, I gotta use the 116, the guard 116 with the open level, use the corner, and I'm gonna tackle right there. But what do you mean use the corner? When I use the corner of the blade, I don't have to uh you know use the whole blade. Because if I use the whole blade, then it will erase, it will touch all the other all parts that I don't wanna be taking that hair. You know what I mean? So uh right now notice I don't go right on top of, of that shadow. That, that that i still see you guys gonna see when i eventually when i switch the guard now 
see that line right there that shadow so now we're gonna use the one the one one eighth and open lever and we're gonna go with the corner once again because we only take little by little now if I use the blade completely in order to get the transition you see how I pass it right on top of it but I pass it nice and slow notice I open the level and pass it nice and slow and kind of like lift it up that's so that way it will not uh, push the the blade in and it will not make another shadow or, or the high, higher shadow so you, you notice how right now all that shadow all that is basically going away also always use your left hand to use the brush so whenever you finish uh, cutting or passing the the clipper like for example pass it right there there's I see another shadow passing it and pass the the brush why because you want to make sure that you clean while you already cut probably some people some clients they sweat and, and they got wet uh, sculpt and the hair gets stuck uh, sticky so um with uh with the brush it, pre it pretty much it brushes so it lets you know that, that your work is clean okay since we did i didn't explain because i was planning about the balding blade now we're gonna do it the back and the side <coughs> so, so so that way you got an idea right now what we're doing remember when we passed that first line it was with the balding blade with the magic clip the balding blade now we're using the the half uh, less than a half of the magic clip the magic clip is the one the blade that comes from factory it has bigger teeth uh another smaller teeth like the balding so now that i have my my second level done we're gonna go jump to the 116 uh level close and we're gonna pass right on top of the line we're just gonna try to erase like scrape that the line that's what we're gonna do scrape that line we don't wanna make another level now we want to scrape the line and if it makes another level it we right away we open the level and we're going to scrape that other that that that, that shot the bulkiness and right there you know what i mean that's what you want to do you want to keep you know scra scraping it uh, past scraping it whatever may it may sound to you whatever it is the thing is the motion that you doing you see what i'm doing with my hand pretty much it's like a C motion, not, not necessarily like a completely C motion, but the thing is like, you know, you got that flick. In order to do that flick, it's like a, with a, like a C motion type of deal. Right now we're going with the 1 8th uh, level open and we're going to be on top of that shadow. Jeffrey, what are the shadows that you're saying? Well, if you see that the, the guard is touching that area where I'm passing it right now, that's where I see the shadows. That part right there. That's why I call it the shadow. And notice how I'm still passing the brush. And notice how I'm going from right to left, left to right. And right there, you know what I mean? I keep passing. There's still some here and there. The eyes is gonna is gonna tell you. That's this is what's fun about it. Um, you know, you gonna your eyes is gonna tell you, and then you it's gonna tell you mine, and your mind is gonna react, and it's gonna find a solution, and then it's gonna make you use your you know you okay. So now grab this with your hand, grab this clipper or this guard, or do this uh, until you know you gotta do what you gotta do. And what I mean, what I, well, you got to do what you got to do until you find a solution. Meaning, example, like right now, my eyes were telling me that there was a shadow right there and I couldn't get it with the uh, the guard, the number one guard. So, I'm, uh, I mean, <clears throat> yeah, number one guard. And uh, but if I would have gone with a number one guard, uh, the number one and a half. And if I would have go higher, try to take and try to take that shadow. It would have probably make the spot uh, uh, um, lighter, way too light, and it would raise the fade. So, uh, you know, I was like, well, what can I use a little higher, number two? So then I used number two. Then I noticed that I did, and it took it off, but it still left some some um, spot. And um, I'm like, okay, so I passed number two, but didn't took those spot. Now, what can I use? So what I'm doing, I'm using a one back lower clip, and that's the one eighth, and, and then I close the level. So now it's the one eighth uh, closed level, and does that make a difference, Jeff? Yes, it does. Half is like half a difference, and then uh, uh, you pass it on top of it until so you see that it, it, like 
And then he goes, nah, okay, so close the level again, try it again. Oh, yeah, he did. See? And then, okay, so I need to uh, make it lower, make it uh, go away completely a little lower. All right, so what can I do? I have to lower the guard. All right, so what's next? Uh, 116 and a half. All right, let's try to 116. All right, and how about... Okay, so should I, I, I just want to get that little spot. Should I get, should I pass the whole blade or just the corner? You know, yeah, I can do the corner. The corner only take just the, the whatever you want to take. Look at it as a, like a, like a point of a pencil or, 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 or the eraser of the, of the head of the pen. Kind of to just erase that, that shadow or that little point or, or that little spot. So right now we're using the one eighth. We continue to using the one eighth. And that's how it's going to be. Through the whole procedure of the haircut, you know what I mean. Once, uh, not the first time, is it gonna come out? It's gonna take you even time, uh, year, years, month, years, uh, whatever come first. But it is still, even to this day, I have, you know what I mean, twenty years of cutting hair, and I still get some haircuts that are really uh, hard to fade in, and and you know, I, st I still gotta figure out what's gonna work, what is the best way to fade in. Right now, what I pass on here was the half. Now we're gonna eat once again with the 116, with the level open, we're gonna take it, and I'm working with levels, with, with, with numbers and levels, you know, you stick to the numbers from lower to more, you know, so zero, half, uh, 116, 116 and a half, one, and one eighth, one eighth, and one and a half, two. You see where I'm going? So just keep those mu those number in mind. And if you're going up, just remember, you know what I mean? Like the next, if I'm using a one sixteen and I'm trying to go up, well, the next step is the one sixteen and open level. That's one sixteen and a half. But if I'm going that area right there, would I just point to get that that shadow right there? That's the one eight. And and <coughs> one eight and then a half, so that so I could go nice and, and safety. You know what I mean? I could have gone one eighth right away, but I don't want to do that because then it, it usually would take too much. So I want to go. You know what I mean? Like a little higher, and then close it down little by little. You know what I mean? Don't go right away too low if you're going uh, on a, on the top where it's gonna be darker. Uh, you want to just little by little make sure that you know that you you're gonna take whatever is necessary and then take if you need to take it lower then you go lower you could always cut back later cut little by little and not cut a big chunk and then be able, you're gonna be like oh man i cut way too much what i'm gonna do now then you're gonna have to be stuck to race the the fade and and, and basically start over again and racing the fade and all that right now as you notice once I, I tackle the whole top, now we're going about the bottom. And just like <coughs> in the bottom, since it was the bold in, and then in that area of the half, I'm using the half a little bit close, and then until the line went. Then the top is going to, the minute that you fit in the bottom completely, the top is going to show you, it's going to like, it's going to pop, pop, pop out, pop out into your eyes. It's going to show you, oh, look, look at me right here, this it's like this shadow right here is, is dark. Make sure you get like a guard. So the last guard that we finished um, working on there was uh, a one eight <coughs> and a half. So what's the second? What's the other uh, guard? And your mind is gonna tell you. Well, the other one is number two. And if Jeffrey said to go a little higher guard just to be safe, so that would be number two with the level open, so two and a half. And then little by little, you pass in it until you see that it's not grabbing. And it's not grabbing when you pass it from right to left, left to right, a couple of times, brush it out. If it doesn't, um, if it doesn't uh, grab it, then you know that you have to close the lever or switch the, 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 the clipper. Right now, we're using the balding back again. And with the balding, now whatever we left off, uh, we're going to take off the rest. We don't have to be so fancy completely, nice and clean and tight. But yeah, you know, just because we're going to be passing the shaver. But just, tr just you know, try to get it, uh, uh, you know, as I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be so fancy because i know with the shaver i'm gonna get it the, the really nice and shit and really really nice and tight and the shaver that i'm gonna be used the electric shaving that i'm gonna be using the broom series nice you could leave it <coughs> maybe, 
you could leave it half a half an inch and um uh the hair lawn and it will take it this this machine is powerful when i say powerful it is powerful right now i'm um i'm about to explain um uh, i'm cleaning it i use yes i use cool care uh but jeffrey don't this have like a station that it clean itself yes it does uh but um what i like to do especially um you know it clean itself but you also have to take the top from it to get the hairs the steel in there believe it or not uh this machine comes with a little brush i'm gonna show you in a minute first what i do i like to dry it in there um because obviously even though you could uh take uh take it in the shower and shave with it and everything um it does to me it doesn't feel like it cut wet it still cut good but i don't like it when it gets wet and then when he this hair and it gets wet you see how i shake it like that that's how the little man will tell you to do and the little brush this is how the, the man will tell you to do too and what i like to do just at top just with a napkin get it nice and dry you know what i mean like try to get a, as much dry and um so yeah and then i put the top back in and then with the napkin again the one that i put uh, i dried off the cool care uh the one uh, right there i used that so now we're gonna use it notice how the head i left uh, you could leave it nice and st uh, st uh, steel right there but it also move there's a button and then what it does the, the head it actually it, it turns uh, it flex so it takes the shape of the head look at that fate man I, i'm telling you man i don't know I, I i don't like to brag on myself but uh definitely this fade i like the way how it came out uh how i did it but you see how the head move right now i have it into a stage that it will stay wherever i leave it if i leave it like that the the it, it change and then if i move it up it change and it's good for the areas that are real uncomfortable to get like behind the ear this shaver is is awesome then um <coughs> also it says that it's 40 thousand stroke so that means you're gonna get the best close shave ever and it really does compared to the andes and and the and the war it is a great shave nothing against uh the the other two much the other um you know the other two shavers it's just a they, this this company i mean they like this is what they do for for living you know what i mean just straight shavers for years you know in Waha they just basically more <coughs> on clippers trimmers and they just do you know now they just starting to develop and the the shaving so you know it's 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 a big difference right now i'm using the oyster the caesar's oysters and i'm using the technique caesar's overcomb and um like i said right here i'm passing the you notice how the combs have big teeth and small teeth so i'm passing the small teeth to get those real short hair the small teeth it help you to grab the the hair and then those big teeth right there where i'm i'm gonna pass it where i point it and that's exactly you know what i mean that's how you're gonna be doing it you know you grab it where you see it and you're gonna keep passing pass it right there and yeah you're gonna pass it in the areas of right there where you see still a little bit of of like bulkiness like remember he he told me not to cut the top but i'm just in that part right there i have to blend in still the sides right there and i see some shadow but uh, i don't go more than right there than that part right there that's about it that part see um once i'm done with that I'll keep going around just looking for areas that areas they are bulky and and that i see some you know what i mean so i see some shadows and I keep going over it. Notice that I go with the same floor of the hair. So if my comb is tilted, is the the this, the way that it's gonna grab the hair, the way that the, the hair is, you know, going down. So if it goes that way, notice my comb is, is tilting it. So I go with the floor of the hair. And also notice that my scissors is nice and straight. So you'll be able to grab more. You know what I mean? And um you grab it and kind of raise and lift up the minute that you go up you raise it up a little bit so you don't go too in just like a clipper like a clipper you know what i mean and that's the technique caesar's overcome all right in this point i'm gonna pull, pump it up pump it up it's a product that frees the hair in place 
um and it smells real good and it works really 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 good too um what it does it definitely the battles the battle says it <coughs> excuse me i'm a little bit under under the weather but i'm still trying to you know what i mean i'm i'm keeping it real uh I, i'm still sick but I, I still do try to bring you the explanation of this so yeah like i was saying the pump it up it says it in the bottle it, it frees the hair in place but in order to freeze the hand plate in place you have to actually use the blow dryer and use the the, the heat and then once he <coughs> the heat <coughs> hit the the chemical of the spray it kind of it gets real sticky like a glue so let's say that if you have some hairs that, that was standing up this thing will put it down like really nice and flat and then it leave it nice and shiny and smell like Oh man, it definitely smells real good. I, I, every time I put it, I, lo I love the smell. And then from the front, especially when you're about to do a shaper, you know sometimes the when you wanna do a shaper, the hair kinda in the front, like every time you're trying to do a shape of the trimmer, with the trimmer, the hair goes up, like it kinda lift up. So with this, it gets sticky and it stay right there. But first you gotta make sure you dry it real nice. Right now it's still wet. So notice how I was still passing it, passing it, and still passing it with the uh, the small teeth. I get it real nice and tight. We're gonna be using Topic hair fibers. The reason why we're gonna use hair type uh, hair uh, hair fibers is just to give a little bit more definition, so there's no a uh, space. I don't like to do this. Uh, I add this, but some other client when they ask me if they if, if they can if they could get it. I do it, you know what I mean? For my client, I do it. And then, uh, but I don't like to enhance uh, too much. I like to keep it natural. So I did it on the other side. I did it right here too. And, um, you know, it depends how you, how you, um, you know, you put it on. Sometimes you gotta go over it, put a little bit more, or if not with the gel, kinda, it's gonna go away and it's gonna come, it's gonna be put on in a sense that you gotta match it up. And eventually you will you will see. When I'm done with this haircut, you're gonna see what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, the line, I'd use the trimmer first and then I right when I'm about to pass the, the blade in there, I put a brand new blade on my razor holder. The razor holder that I'm using is by Black Widow. Uh, but, I mean, it's Black Widow by Will Ocasio. And definitely he got some nice product there. His his scissors and blade razor blade, definitely they 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 is good quality, real comfortable, and I like how they've been working using it. Notice how the pump it up is dried up, and then the f hair fibers are there. So the minute that you pass the hair um, the razor, especially a brand new blade, it's gonna come out super sharp. And then the the parts that they were like real empty, or kind of like with a space in between. Some people like it to, to wait too perfect, which is whatever you taste it is. He likes it like that. So, you know what I mean? We give we, we give what he asks. You know, he want it nice and sharp. Let's do it like that. But uh, um, yeah, you know, that's what it does. The hair fiber, it fills up. Uh, no, it's not only for the people that are going bald, but for those parts that you want it nice and, and you want enhance the shape up and you want to make it nice and straight and visible straight, that's where you, you use it. Notice um, when I'm shaving, I always use both of my hands. Like I always said in my videos, uh, if I like to re <coughs> repeat myself a lot, it's for the new people that haven't seen my other videos. That's why just like everybody else that have listened to me before and if it sounds like i'm repeating myself just understand just like you hear me before for the first time and you you understood or maybe you didn't understood you get the chance to understand it the second time around and then the new person could understand what i'm trying to say and the steps that i'm saying in the meanwhile look at how it's taking shape and still you gotta look the haircut different angle try to still to get the most detail that you can um, use, like I said, both hands. See, I'm scraping in the forehead because this baby hair is there, believe it or not. And then, you know, you take the desk cane too that it has the, the, in there, scrape it out. And then we're gonna use the famous, well, not so famous, but famous for me in this area where I live from. Uh, there's a guy, 
that make this cream is called Bomb Pro. Bomb Pro. And it's real good. It's medicated. It's a medicated. And it smells like winter fresh. And it, it makes the skin really tight. Really, like, you have, like, a face mask. And it feels real refreshing. And then when you pass the blade, and it, it don't matter even if it dries. Um, it definitely... It lets you still glide the blade real nice and then when you when you shaping it uh, you could pass the blade as much time you want to pass it and it's not gonna irritate the, 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 the person's skin it definitely protect the skin very well and when you pass it instead of feeling sometimes when they pass the blade too much you know you feel like it gets really itchy or burny sensation or that it, you could tell that it's irritation with this you don't feel at all it just it feel like a, a piece of ice cube passing it by it and, it and it's just nice and refreshing and the minute that you put it, even just water on it it feels real nice and cool you know what i mean so definitely i like this cream um notice how i'm doing the eyebrows he asked me to do the eyebrows and keep it natural that's what we're doing right now keeping it natural and doing it little by little notice how my left hands always is with the thumb wherever the blade goes the thumb is behind it and um and also i hold the the combs with the combs i'm able to scrape whatever the blade uh cut or shave i'm able to scrape it up real nice but notice in the meanwhile my left hand see how i scrape it with the with the comb that's what that's what i like to and then you see what i'm saying i keep scraping right there right there i try to make the little corner Try to get it more detail. You know what I mean? Get those little hair there too. And notice my thumb always there. My thumb, see, even in the right there in the top, there's some hairs that is sticking out. My eyes are catch, catching up, seeing those little hairs sticking out. So I, I tackle it. I try to be very detailed. You know what I mean? Um, you may see some stuff that I don't see is the same thing. So if you see something you, I don't see. You know what I mean? You tackle it. You try to do whatever you can and, and, and act on it. You know what I mean? That's why it's going to make you different than any than the other barber. Whatever extra, guard, uh, extra yard you go is going to determine your haircut, how much more you put in into it. Uh, like I said, right now, see how nice the, the eyebrows on him is starting to look really, really nice and cleaned up real nice and sharp. And that and that's what you want you know what i mean and you notice how he is nice chilling relaxing in there and you know right now we're gonna do like i was saying we're gonna do the goatee but it's not gonna be connected he's just gonna he want it round kind of roundish you know what i mean not connected that's how he like he's he's goatee i've been doing it like that already uh for a couple of months like that so we're gonna end up and then he want the kind of like the v at top and um you know I just add a little bit of water, put it on top uh, right there, and look, it activates it, the, the cream, it activates itself again. Uh, switch the blade, if you, and that's one number one key. If it doesn't shave, and you see that it's pulling the hair and the faces, and the guy's making faces, that means that you gotta, you know, don't wait until he makes faces. Just uh, go ahead and change the blade. You know, it doesn't cost at all. Basically, it's priceless because you, you wanna you're gonna work comfortable and you're gonna be able to <coughs> shape a lot better. He was he's not gonna get caught and all that, and 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 you wanna do that. <coughs> you know what I mean? Spend spend on your client. Your client spend on money on you. You do the same thing, and uh, whatever you put in is what you're gonna get out. You know what I mean? <coughs> so that my that's my advice. Always wipe it off when you shave. Uh, get a napkin a lot of people get a towel but the towel is you got to be cleaning it and then those uh hair in the in the washer when you put some other clothes you may get those hair there so i don't i mean if you do it cool but i don't like to mix my my, my new clothes or my clothes with hair with more hair or, or, or hair residue so what i do i get uh, a bounty uh napkin and i just put it in the chest a little piece it doesn't cost at all. It costs actually less. Because you know what I mean? Once you finish wiping all the, the hair or whatever, you could throw that in the garbage and that's it. You don't have to clean it or nothing, none of that. So you save a lot more, more money. But it, 
it help you to uh keep your work area where you're trying to do like right now you know i keep shaving 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 and then wipe it off and, and i'm able to see you know what i mean like same thing here and always i i put a little pressure here with the other left hand and i start you know what i mean like getting the corners getting the parts right there so i'll be able to when when i put the pressure and i stretch using the two finger you see how um, i got the two fingers stretching the screen the skin so that way i could you know what i mean scrape everything all the hair real nice and i could pass everything nice and smooth because if you don't use the left hand to stretch the skin the the blade could stick into the skin and you, that's not a pretty sight you know what i mean you just want to make sure you uh you know shave the little corners look around you you know use the two fingers to type the skin you want to add a little bit more water go ahead add a little, little more water or cream you want to change the blade change the blade you want to you know with the comb wipe it off to see if you got anything that you could do right here i noticed that there's some hair sticking out long hair so i want to make sure they i shape it up but i don't cut it because he likes it nice and dark the goatee round and with long hair that's his style that's how he likes it let's let's keep it like that you know what i mean and you know with the, look at the combs with the combs and the magic clip i try to shape it up as much as i can then i get the brush get the hair from the neck and the face and everything around so he could be comfortable right now we're gonna start doing shape uh we're gonna start shaping his mustache and and then i see in his cheek that he got some baby hairs and roots of uh, of the hair when we were shaving we were shaving from um up uh, down and now we're going from side so we could get all the real everything real nice extra real tight uh and we're gonna get into <coughs> those uncomfortable plates like that corner right there just use the corner of the blade and you know what i mean little by little you know you just use the little corner of the blade hold it like you see how i'm holding it i have the control and it's like see i notice little hair there there i still scrape everything you know what i mean D little details like that make the difference then i go back to the other side I, I, before i did that i changed the blade i wet the mustache a little bit i put a little bit of water and it activate the gel again and i always keep maintaining the same style that i did in the other side under the lip i go there and and try to get it be as careful as possible and you know whenever they're talking try not to 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 you to you know really be shaving and um but yeah just keep passing it and then once you shave from up down then you could go up i mean it down up the opposite way so you the so you could take all the roots and it'd be tighter a lot tighter so yeah and then you keep shaving it right now the mustache is not it's still when i sit them up i'm gonna continue shaping up more everything from the eyebrows and everything else now here's the gel elegance gel triple action i like the smell and the and it's very thick it's not so wet and then it, it won't leave like uh white hair i mean like like a dusty hair but when you put it on it makes it it's real thick the texture is really really thick and it's kind of like wet looking and it, make, and it makes it look more darker especially notice where i put the hair fiber now you're gonna you're gonna see that what i was saying they <coughs> excuse me see i wipe my 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 hands with the napkin and everything and i take it from his neck and then throw it in the garbage then i start shaping it i get a new blade and i start shaping it go over again those little details and then get the top once again the eyebrows start shaping it a little bit more he told me if i could brush it off the hair uh the hairs on the eyebrow and if there's some long hair to trim it with the trimmers i was like yeah for sure so that's what we're doing right now we already shape it really really good it just uh now we brush it down almost the opposite way so if there's any long hair then with the trimmer we take those long hair because if we do it with the blade it's, it's hard same thing with the mustache you know right there it needs to be a little bit skinny and notice right there that was a little bit kind of dark and then with some dusty uh spray i mean sprit so now notice that it's a lot sharper um and the line and everything now in that mustache right there same thing 
it needs to be you know trim and shape there and same thing with this eyebrow you know now in this plate uh this side i shape it a little bit more incline it but not too in but just make sure that it's nice and straight same thing in, in that area right there where i'm passing the blade also you know clean it right there clean the eyebrows at top a little bit more you know everything that i'm saying is just not to say it it's just the way what i'm doing it is what what i'm saying it and what I'm saying is what I do, you know, even when I'm not doing the video, this is what I'm saying in my mind. Okay, I got to pass it right here. I got to shape it right there. Okay, I see this side, the mustache is a little bit thicker. Let me, let me just bring it down a little bit. So I bring it down a little bit, then I wipe it off. Then I see that it looks perfect right there, the, the, you know, and then a little bit there and a little bit right there. And I, and I keep saying that in my mind but i keep passing everything and so same thing that i that i keep saying in my mind I, I speak it out when i'm making this video and hopefully even with my accent you're able to understand what i'm saying look at the the the, defi the definition of that fade you know real blend in you know what i mean and um this i i definitely if i if i have hair like this i would definitely do this hair haircut on me for sure and uh this is him before this is how he looks before you know what i mean he comes weekly sometimes uh, one week he cut from the top and then the next week he leave the top and do the, the fade and he switch it up he usually leave his beard or whatnot but he want to shave it and whatnot now this is the after once again thank you for your time enjoy this i hope you could get something out of it if you like it please share it uh, share it subscribe and you know what I mean I hope um it works out for you much luck uh, and thank you thank you subscribe see you later brother see you later homie see you later everyone that is listen enjoy